This thing's big enough, I uh, had to find a new location to open it up. If you'd like to see even more content from DCC Shodor and early access to some content, be sure to check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Pledge today, and you can help this channel to grow even more and to help me uh, get DCC installs out faster to you and more frequent videos and tutorials on how to's and uh, different things about DCC and just modeling in general. So if you'd like to see more videos like that, be sure to check out my Patreon page. All right, so this is a bit of a quick unboxing part of uh, this new DCC equipped turntable. It's a plastic to pull off here. So this is obviously the HO scale DCC equipped turntable on the back S stuff. Pause and read if you want. Um, so I'm actually going to open this right now. See what we got for now. So I can kind of get a plan. On, I'm going to add this to my layout. Ah. Uh, so, uh, here's a turntable. So, we we'll should be able to add our Tidmouth Sheds accessories onto this portion here. Put the building on to cover that up. Um, jeez. All right. What the heck is this? Ah, uh, so this is the, for controlling it. Via analog, if you want. There's, uh, here's some of the wires. This is a little hut that covers the motor. Bunch of extra wire here, and then the turntable control hut. So here's some of the paperwork. So I'm going to read over this before we uh, head down to the layout. Check it out. So, DCC mode, this is what I'm looking at. Pretty easy, the fourth track must connect to mainline track for track power and turntable control. Which is different, I think, from how it was on the Bachman turn uh, on the Thomas turntable, the manually operated one. Okay, and that's an exploded view drawing of it. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Alright, so I need this piece here, this guy, it's hot, I'm going to need to open this thing up. Oh. oh, didn't do that quite the way I wanted to. All right. Oh, God. 
come on. There we go. Oh, jeez. Lots of tape on here. Start kind of tearing things up. Okay. So here's the turntable. And, uh, yep. So, one, two, three, four. So this track here needs to connect. I'm going to probably have to do the same thing I did. Modify this by cutting this little piece off. And, uh, hook it up the unit track here. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess the next step really is to take this down to the layout, hook it up, see how it works. So let's do it. All right. So um, as you can see, I got to pull these bits off and they simply will just transfer over. So I'm going to squeeze that and it pops out. And I'll show you how those all assemble here in a minute. As I clear out a little bit of space, let me take a few tracks apart here. Oh, that is the same one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. So let's clear out these guys and some of this stuff here. And we'll clear out the engines. Let me get this track. I'm actually this guy up and off of there. Um, this track up. I'm going to get Emily out here. Percy. Edward. Gordon. And it looks like I've got a couple other engines in here. Gordon, Henry? No, Henry's not in there. Where is Henry? So we got James. James, thankfully, doesn't have a tender. Don't have to worry about that. Um. Huh. I guess there's no. Where? Where did I put Henry? Eh, well, we'll find him. So. The next sketchy thing I have to do, pick the whole ding-dang roundhouse up and away. I'm actually going to set it like this. Hopefully it stays like that. So... I've done my uh, my modification with uh, stick to the task here, Blake. Uh, okay, we got this pulled off. Now we're gonna take all of these steel pieces of track and just slide them off. Oh gosh, that was a disaster. Holy crap! Somehow all of it survived. Okay, so that obviously didn't work. Holy guacamole, I am one lucky guy. Somehow the car that fell to the ground, other than bending a trip pin on a coupler, which I really don't mind, <laughs> Uh, nothing broke. Wow. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, sometimes a disaster just isn't avoidable. Um, so here's the crank turntable. Which I'll admit has, a. Uh, been pretty good to me, but it's it's time for the change. 
So, before I destroy anything else, I better get this turntable up. Uh, so here we've got our turntable. Let's uh, just marry these joiners up again. They're simple. I used to have something under there. Don't know what happened to it. So I'm just going to put a little piece of this plastic under here just to kind of hold the piece of track up. Now I'm going to start hooking things back together. So still easy track everywhere else around. I mean, I still have, you know, it's kind of hard not to get this stuff. Especially when it could be had for cheap. Oh, and I can't get this piece of track to me. Come on. There we go. All right. So I've taken my pieces from here. This is the manually operated turntable pieces. Uh, let's try this. Well, supposedly these are supposed to fit right in, but they don't. Somehow they're not. So I might have to take a look at the instructions again. Um, I might need to actually drill the holes out here so that these guys fit. Because right now that's not going to fit like that. Or like that. So we're actually going to leave these off for now. Um, I'm just going to get the rest of this stuff back together and fix the disaster I caused on the other side of the layout. Which I don't think anything any of you actually saw. I'm afraid to show it. Because my very expensive cars fell to the floor. <laughs> Just amazed nothing nothing at all like broke off of that car. It's crazy. Alright. There we go. Sometimes you gotta line them straight up like this. There we go. Oh, things are still falling. Thankfully no more free, uh no more passenger cars can fall. All right, let's, uh, oh dear, oh my. Let's see if I can slide this down. Almost. Still, like, surprisingly no fatalities. I mean, maybe this, uh, this little sign here. Okay. Not even. Wow. Okay. I'll get the roofs in a minute. Um. And that one just fell. So I was just getting a minute. I'm going to pick these up and I want to try and slide these down and drop them just right in like that. Uh, this wall's a little wonky. Let's fix that. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now it's time to put the roofs back on. And as we put the roofs back on, I'm going to. Start up track power and hope be able to uh, get our engine running.
Oh, my God. Rock to Meathwaite Station. Jeez. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Get me. All right. Let me turn track power on. Saw some lights flashing. It's a good sign. No squealing of shorts. Um, all right. Just going to flip these roofs on. I remind myself to never do that again. So I knocked one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Accidents happen. Thankfully. Luckily, no one was hurt. Except for maybe a signal. Okay. What's nice about this turntable, too, is that there are absolutely no wires at all when you install it. It's perfect. Um, so let's go to the DCC controller and select three. I think if we start increasing our speed. Uh, thought it would start. Move oh. I know why it's not working. I'm going to flip the track power here. So, uh, Kato switches are... Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, this is. I'm gonna. All right. So I'm gonna have to think of a unique address for this. Uh, let's pull Thomas on, and we'll go select, oops, we'll go back to recall, we'll crank the speed up, so it actually, interestingly enough, I need to, about functions just like a normal motor decoder. That was actually a really interesting concept and I, uh, I'm actually quite pleased with it. Guess I've just got to figure out why on earth the holes don't line up. This would sure take a very long time if I didn't have the recall functions on. Let's run Thomas back into the shed. And run him, kind of stick his nose out. I forget why I have a one with the clenching face. Anyways, so this is pretty cool, actually. I really like this. So you just kind of let me get let's get Percy. Uh, select six. Drop Percy on there. See how Percy does. Uh, Percy's uh. Is he on the track? Uh. Percy's a pain in my butt. That's what he is. He's trying to. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's trying. 
Oh my goodness gracious. It's bad pickups, dirty wheels. I don't, I don't know. That's anyways, I'm not dealing with that right now. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Got to get the speed up fairly high before it starts to move. So if we crank it up to 126 and it's full speed, the motor sounds very unhappy right now, I'm not going to lie. You might be able to hear it even through my microphone. But it does, in fact, work very well. So the thing I was going to attempt to show was the fact that now if I select local one, because Thomas is not, his track is not aligned, there is no power going to his track. So it's something kind of different. You know, I know that some other manufacturers turn tables. One, you have to dig a pit. So this one just fits right on your layout. You don't have to dig a pit for it. Um, then, you know, only tracks that are aligned. So right now this track and then Percy's birth are the only two parts that have power to them. So, and then the other thing is, things, since this is DCC, obviously, it's very easily compatible. Um, we're gonna so, with uh, just running your trains like you normally would. Oh, now Percy's trying to. Oh man, this is crazy, Percy. Is so many problems i uh, well we'll revisit percy at another time um so for right now so that i don't knock any other trains off the tracks um we're gonna we're gonna leave it off here so um and uh actually no i take that back we're gonna come back tomorrow which will be like 10 seconds for you guys and uh, we're gonna figure out why these don't fit and if I have to drill some holes so we shall be back tomorrow uh, well apparently I forgot to turn the microphone on for past section so I'm gonna talk through it here without the mic because I'm uh, just put it away uh, so we've got these little little nubs that are in the turntable bridge here. Uh, as you can see by some of these, the ones that have like weight marks, uh, those didn't come out easily. So I'm gonna drill them out. We're gonna see how that goes. So uh, we'll come back to that later on. Okay, so with that, we've, uh, we've fixed the turntable. There's a lot of these little nubs. I actually just so somehow I was able to get them, most of them out. Um, you do have to get them all out. Um, and then you can... So what there was were these little holes that were filled with little plastic pieces if you didn't want to put anything on the turntable bridge. But this definitely looks good. So with that, I'll select Thomas, have him out, and I'm just going to let him slowly spin around the turntable.
So uh, it is a little jumpy at some points, but I think uh, it at least indexes fairly well. Um, Uh-oh. Bit of a jam there. It's not good. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, just had to crank up the power just a little bit. So you do have to, in a way, regulate the speed a little bit of this. Um, you know, if you're using a decoder with, or a throttle with 128 speed steps, about half, half throttle is good to, it seems actually to have smoothed out now. And then you real easily are able to put it back to zero. And then we can recall Thomas and run him back into the shack. And there's Thomas. Oh. So these turntables, I will say, um, engines like Gordon, who I will put on the table next. As I sketch really do it. Um, are not the easiest to put on. Um, you do have to get them just centered right as they are very long. Turntable is definitely meant for smaller locomotives and uh, or Pacifics like Gordon with shorter tenders like he has. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see Gordon go around and uh, not gonna use any sound. Gordon slide through. Slowly turns in. Onto the turntable. And he's just barely on. Um, so if you had any engines with front couplings, you might have a chance of them getting caught. As you can see, Gordon's rear coupling is actually hanging over just a tad. So you just have to be careful. But I do, I do really appreciate the indexing of it. Let's get Gordon up. Oh, he was just caught on the door. All right. So again, another last week's video. I know that was a really long video. This week's video is uh, just as long, apparently. Um. So, anyways, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it on this. It's a uh, very noisy. I will say the motor is does not always sound the happiest. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Um, but it's really good uh, for getting into getting a motorized turntable on your layout. Super easy to install uh, as long as you don't let your Tidna sheds roll over and crush some of your $100 passenger cars. Thankfully, there was no fatalities. Um, but anyways, that's about it for this video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you think. Do you have this turntable? Will you be getting this turntable? Let me know your thoughts, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Next week's video um, is going to be doing some little bit of changes around the layout. Uh, not nothing too drastic, but just something little. So that's it. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one. Goodbye.